Joining us now in the NHL arena cam is Zach Parise following a one-assist performance against his old team, the New Jersey Devils, and after seven seasons in New Jersey. How weird was this game for you? It was, it was really tough. Every player uh, knows that they hate practicing against their own team, and uh, tonight that's what it felt like. Just wasn't a lot of room out there. Now I, you kind of understand all my friends say they hated playing against us. It's, uh, it's a tough team to play against. Zach, we know you're a friend of the show, so thank you for joining us first off. But secondly, uh, <laughs> take us through the emotions that, in going against the Devils. Naturally, the team that drafted you, you were there for seven years, and now you're playing at home in your home state of Mini. What were your emotions like prior to the game today? Uh, a lot of nerves. I tried as, as best I could to treat it just like any other game, but that was a hard thing to do. Um, you know, you see a lot of the guys that you played with for a long time across the, uh, across the face-off dots, and um, it, it was really nerve-wracking because you always want to go and play a good game, and most importantly, you want to win. And luckily, we were pretty opportunistic tonight when the chances that we had, uh, we were able to put them in. And there wasn't, there wasn't very many of them, but we found a way to put them in. Uh, Zach, before the game, you mentioned that despite the fact that you had won four of your last five games, that you weren't happy with how you were playing. After a 4 nothing performance against the Devils, has that opinion changed at all? Uh, we had a slow start tonight. Um, found ourselves getting a little bit of penny tr penalty trouble, but I think as the game went on and, and we saw what worked against them, we, it, it can't be pretty through the neutral zone against those guys. You've got to be satisfied with getting it behind their D and forechecking. And once we kind of figured that out, um, that's when, when some things opened up for us. So I think we're all, you're always happy with a 4 nothing win. It's, it's tough to argue with that. Zach, I know that it was a big focus of, of your team and coming from Coach Yo coming into the season to be able to play a little bit more of an offensive brand of game and make some more plays. I haven't seen it as consistently, but we've certainly seen some glimpses of it of late where you guys are doing a lot more give and goes, a lot more motion in the offensive zone. From your perspective, where are you guys at from a team offensive game right now? Um, we're, we're getting there. I think um, we're, our D are doing a good job of jumping up in the play and sometimes creating a four-on-three rush or um, catching their back checkers sleeping a little bit. Um, but I think there's still a lot of room uh, for us to improve on that. Um, but we're getting there. We went through a little dry spell where we weren't scoring a lot five-on-five, five, but now it's starting to come. Um, Grandlin's line with Palmer, uh, they've been unbelievable. They're on absolute fire lately, so they've kind of been carrying us the last little bit. It's another win for the Wild. Zach, congratulations on the victory. Thanks a lot for joining us. Yep, thank you guys.